Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel blog website project tutorial from beginner to advanced. So in this tutorial we will create a blog website and uh, this tutorial series will be beginner friendly. I will explain everything step by step from the very beginning. So let me just explain what we will have in this tutorial series, what will be the home page design and what will be the admin page design and also what will be the feature of this project. So here uh, for both home page and admin page we will use template and the template you are currently seeing this will be our home page template. So here uh, we will modify this template a little bit here you can see services and here you can see image over here. So we will make those images into a blog post and over here we will add some text and here instead of those we will have over here a read more button and if the user click on that read more button then it will take the user to another page where they will be able to read the details and description of that post okay and we will also have like and dislike option and also let the user comment and reply for each post so for comment and reply the user needs to be logged in it means the user needs to uh, register in this blog website and right now let me just show you the admin dashboard so our admin dashboard will look like this and i'll also obviously give the uh, home and admin dashboard template download link in the description so the admin will be able to add post delete or edit any post over here and we'll also let the admin send notification to the user that a new post is created in this website and also we'll also let the regular user uh, being able to add a post but the admin needs to accept that post if admin reject that post the post will not show over here okay so those will be the feature of our project and i'll make this tutorial series really easy and i'll explain every little thing so that even if you are a beginner you'll be able to understand and get everything really easily and clearly so first of all right now in this first video we'll just create a laravel project and we'll create that database for our project but before we create a laravel project let me just tell you what you need in order to create a laravel project so in order to create a laravel project you need to make sure that you have installed xamp in your device just search for xamp and then download for windows linux or os whatever you are using then you also need to make sure that you have installed node.js and i want to tell you that make sure that you always download the required for most user this one and after that you need to install composer in your device once you have those three installed you are ready to create your laravel project so right now let me just close those and let's go and create a laravel project so first of all here you can see we are currently in the laravel.com so just go to laravel.com and then go to the documentation or if you click documentation it will basically take you to the installation page and if you go down here you can see a comment over here composer create project laravel slash laravel example app so here you can see whatever you write over here in the example app position it will be your project name and this composer create project will help you create a laravel project so i'll just copy this command from here and then let me just go to my folder and i'll create a project over here so in order to create a project we need to write over here cmd or we need to open a command prompt so here you can see that i just open a command prompt let me just zoom in and here we write the common composer create project laravel slash laravel example app so over here instead of this we are going to over here our project name will be blog project let's press enter and it will create a laravel project for us so i'll right now just fast forward the video so here you can see our project is created so here uh, right now we need to run our project so in order to run our project we need to write a command but before that we need to go to the project directory currently we are in the local disk d so in order to go to our project directory we need to say over here cd and then we can say over here blog project and if we press enter here you can see currently we are in the blog project directory or what you can do is that you can just close this and you can just see over here a folder over here block project this is the project that we just created using the command so if you go inside and here we'll just over here open a command prompt and here you can see uh, let me just zoom in here you can see block project basically we can also go to the project directory like this so over here we are going to say php artisan serve and press enter so then you will see a link like this 
server running on this one let me just copy this part control c and then we'll go to our browser then if you paste it over here and then press enter here you can see this is the project that we just created so right now let's go and create a database for our project so right now let me just open the project using sublime text you can use any other editor like visual studio code or atom that's fine but i will use sublime text for this tutorial so here i'll just click over here file then open folder and we create our full project in the local disk d and here you can see block project over here so let's just select it and select folder so right now here what we need to do is that we just directly need to go to this dot env file over here and here you can see by default the database name is laravel we change it to block project you can name your database name anything but we'll give it the name block project so right now we'll create a database for our project so for the first of all we need to open xamp over here let's go to xamp and then we'll just start the apache and mysql after that we'll just minimize this and we'll go to our browser and here we'll search for xamp here we'll go to this address over here you can see uh, let me just show you here you can see in the apache my port number is over here 80 that's why i write over here on to 7.0.0.80 for your case it might be 8080 or maybe different port number whatever your port number is you just need to give it over here and then say over here dashboard after this uh, we'll go to this option PC my admin and it will take you to this page over here you can see PC my admin this is the page and here you will see a new option let me just zoom in here here we can see a new option just click over here and then you will see something like this database name over here you need to give your database name so let's go to our project and let me just copy the database name then we'll paste it here and then we just click over here create so it will create a database for us so in this tutorial we just create a laravel project for our blog website and we just create a database for our project so in the next tutorial, we'll make a multiple authentication for user and admin. So it means we'll make a login and registration system for user and admin. And if the admin is trying to log in, then it will take the admin to the admin dashboard. And if the user is trying to log in, then it will take the user to the user dashboard. So this is all about this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll give the playlist link in the description so that you can just watch all the video uh, for this tutorial series so thank you very much for watching make sure to like this video and subscribe this channel for more tutorial like this thanks for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial